it's me, Marna, and I'm back with another review. Last time I did the Rise of One Lord, this time I am doing, um, it's a Star Wars set, like I said, I have a good, I have a good portion of sets, so I'm going to be reviewing them, but at the same time later, I'm going to get some Harry Potter sets, and yeah, um, this is what I'm going to do first, and here we have, uh, our Lego set. The number is 75254. It has 540 pieces and, it, and it's called the ATS2 Raider, as you can see here. It's from the Mandalorian TV show. It, uh, it has Lego Star Wars and Disney, and the characters include the Mandalorian, Cardoon, and two Clatterwing Raiders. Got back the back, guys. On the back, we just see it again on a different angle. You can see it's taking place in like a forest scene. What you can do is that there are four features. You can access the cockpit, you can turn it around, and the shooters, it can also move to two different positions depending on shooting from down or shooting from above. And yeah, so we'll put the box right here, and let's, let's look at the minifigures. First we have the Mandalorian, as you can see here down. Here we have his um, blaster here, which is actually a small blaster attached with a brown lightsaber piece and then a robotic hand kind of weird how they used it but a cool technique and yeah that's just him you can put it on this new shorter cape that's not as long and it's in gray that's good to get and also here we have the mandalorian masks that that's in um like that's in gray like the mandalorian mask is just some printing that's like the same thing that they use for Jango Fett and other Mandalorians in, other, in sets before, way before. And nothing really different though, just the good color, the different color that they put here I like. On the bottom there's no face, probably because for no spoilers. And the cape is actually good material. There's some back printing, which is just a, another armor pad, a belt, and a little strap here. Here are some little printing for some of his armor that he has, the Mandalorian's armor. And here we have on our belt, the stripe, a little rustic look to look at like it. So yeah, it's a cool Mandalorian. Here we have Cara Dune, she has an angry face right now. Um, her accessory is this very sniper big blaster that uses the, the Kylo, the, the Kylo Ren gray hilt piece and then the big gun sniper she has her little gloves on she has this cool hair it's used for gamora in the milano set and but it just is, has no pink here but yeah it's nice to get this hair piece she has an angry face on it's a little blue dot i think and then the other face is it's like an okay face as you can see back printing just shows a little belt a little bit of the blue and silver kind of ish suit that she's wearing she doesn't have any sleeves though. And here's just some extra details such as the blue and that. It's more blue here. It's some, there's light blue here. A little bit of pocket, some extra detail that looks nice. No arm printing, but it's nice to get her like this in a cheap way. Here we have one of the Clatterwing Raiders. This one doesn't have the helmet, the other one does. They both have the same face print. And they have kind of like little teeth and that. His accessory is the is the blaster, the gunmetal gray blaster with a brown lightsaber hilt piece. And here we have kind of like this dark blue. As this, I kind of like the contrast here. It's just kind of like a messy look, kind of like a shirt with a small little rope belt around and a little scarf that he has on his looks like little metallic frown faces or like little little things maybe. And they kind of look like little silver croissants, kind of ish. Here's some belts, more detailing, and here we have a little bit of kind of like a skirtish, you can say. Yeah, just a clattering raider. They make it like look like a messy-ish look compared to the modernist, cleanish look that the other characters have. And yeah, this is the clattering raider that's a pilot actually. You can take them off. His accessory is the, he actually has two blasters, but I have his other blaster. Oh, his hand is right here. But yeah, his hand, his hand just fell off. <laughs> but yeah, it's this little Django, it's the Django fed blasters they also use. They used it here. The helmet piece is nice to get. 
and then this is like the shoulder pad piece with some spikes on it. I'll put back the hand. I can even get it on. But I'll put it on really later. It was really stuck on there good. But yeah, and basically there's I'm um, just another belt, another croissant, but this <laughs> well the silver croissant is just one of them. Looks and there's a different scarf. Some more detailing. You can see it's different colors. The the arms are brown. There's the little dress piece they use. More belting, a little jacket that he's wearing. And yeah, you can put him back here in the ATST. Now let's look at the ATST himself. There's no other side belts be besides this. So we'll, we can have our figures here playing around. What the AT can do is a lot of good features. It can start as that. We'll start from the bottom and go to the top. So at the bottom, you can see that ATST has these feet. Really good big feet. They have some, these are, this one's brown. And this one's gray, so it's, it looks like a rusty look. They use a lot of stickers, scratches, some oil. <laughs> this machine hasn't put on some oil in a while. A rustic look. So here are little toes. You can just bend them if you want to. I, I imagine they're toes. Then um, this is where it gets different. Each of these are different because this one's red and this one's brown. Also with some gray on the back. They use these blue pins. Here to connect, so it's technically this is basically some um, stripes here that they painted on this one and this one. As you move upper, there's some little wiring on this one on the other one. Cool, and yeah. So the Cloudy Raiders took an ATS from the from the from the Empire and made and painted them themselves, and it's, it's more rusty looking. It, it was a very old one, and yeah. This one's gray. This is like orange. And yeah, some more like parts they use to make it look cool. I like this light design. It's kind of like the older one. What you can do also do is that this only has two angles, fortunately. And yeah, it can move here, but it won't stand though. But you can imagine it's walking like this. So yeah, it has this angle and this angle. If it wants to look up, and then you can move this if you want to make it look like it's going down. We'll make it look like it's going down. Yeah, these um these are nice. The features they're similar to the rope, they're they're similar to the rope one, ATS Team Pair one. This is like more rusty and includes some good figures. That's what I like about this set. Here we just have like the wire attached, some little stripes. On the back we have some buttons. I can say this knob that turns the head. It's cool. They use a small mechanism with gears, and yeah, so he can look around and shoot from different angles. Here we have like little painting pieces or like little wiring pieces that make it look cool. It's called greebling. Greebling is just basically using a bunch of parts to make it look like machinery or extra detail. Up here, the head looks darker than the first than the than the Imperial one, and it actually has two blasters and one blaster. The 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 building technique they use on this is nice. Fortunately, this one falls eat off really easier than the other one because it has this on and it's connected by this um lego stick kind of you can say lego rod and yeah it's not long enough to get there but it won't take off exactly easy there's just another sticker and yeah you can put that right there again what we see next is that um it's so yeah this thing really falls off easily i just wish they used a longer rod maybe slightly longer because i know there's two rods one of it's like a centimeter longer. And yeah, just some little stripes on the back isn't, isn't the best, but I mean, there's some Technic, there's these little like gears you can say. Up here's a little bit of rustic and a new stripe. Again, this thing falls very easily. So you might gotta be careful when you're displaying this. Make sure you have like a stand on. I'll get proof in the hole, some more stripes. This, that, the last action feature, well, not the last one, but what you can do is that these shoot. Basically, the pin, these little pins will shoot the thing out, and we'll try shoot it out. Those guys, you can over this and these other two, but not this one exactly because it falls off. Here's some little eyes, kind of ish. You can make them like blink for a second, or kind of. And then here on the top we have the pot, the pilot, kind of up here. So yeah, you can take off the smaller hatch. And get him off there. His hand really likes getting on there. So 
So yeah, we'll take off the pilot and look at our last feature. So yeah, let's just use like a small sticker, kind of like a button on there. And then some little rods here for detailing and then look at on top. Final step. Here you can access there, hold the hands there. What you can do is that now, if you get this closer enough, or if you can, it's hard to get light in there, but basically they use some technique to hold. It's not the straightest connection. And then here they use a control, the C for the guy, and then an extra blaster, and a little space, but you can see that, that there's some space in there that you can see. So yeah, it's not like the great connection, but they use the same thing for the other one. They use green here for some reason, but it's gray. The blasters also fall off easily. I would say that too, just like the other one, but I mean, so yeah, that's kind of ish all for this set besides these little blaster pieces. And I'll look at my, my opinion of this. Fortunately, this ATST is really good, has some great building techniques, and is slightly bigger than the other one by, by a centimeter or two. It's a great design, you get good figures. Uh, I, I would rate this kind of like a 9.5 out of 10, or 9 out of 10 actually, because um, what I would think about this is that color choice is great, but if you're a guy who wants to collect all if you don't want a Mandalorian or or just want the ATST but the cleaner look, this is not really for you. But if you are a fan of Mandalorian and just want to get a small this big displayable set that's here so far, yes. And so yeah, that's why I think one of these things fall off easily, but if you do better hat I don't know, if you learn a better building hack or something, tell me in the comments for better better building hacks that I can use to maybe get these better or any other hacks also another thing is that um this they sh maybe they could have used this is that they could have used a lego light brick because in the movie there's like a, a red light coming out it would have been nice <laughs> maybe kind of like a night light kind of ish or maybe like a little lantern it had a stand and then you could go at night but maybe like a smaller version but it, c it could be nice if they did that but yeah there's a razor crest coming out um in september it comes with the Mandalore and the Baby Yoda, so maybe if I do get it, I will review it and be there. And there's also a battle, a Mandalorian battle pack that came out this year. I don't have it yet, but I might get it and review it to you guys. So yeah, stay tuned for other Star Wars sets or maybe even Harry Potter sets coming soon. I'm thinking of getting the Great Hall or Whomping Willow or the Clock Tower. Tell me in the comments below which one do you think is better to get. And yeah, so yeah, we'll see you next time. And bye.